Hi everyone, I have a second section for the payment table with the different interest rates and different loan amounts. Uh, with the formula we only did it for P&I which is principal and interest only. So what I did is I've actually added um, other fees to kind of give people a guide on how they can create an idea of what monthly payments they can budget depending on the different costs and of course different interest rates. So again this is great if you're looking to improve your credit um, and or trying to get an idea of the variable cost of you know how much you want to be able to spend maybe with HOA fees or condo fees because it's going to impact how much you qualify for. So what I've done is I've taken our old um, sheet and I've added other monthly payments. So you can see here that we've added property taxes. Okay, those are yearly, so we can break it down by monthly. Insurance, so this is uh, homeowner's insurance. And then if you have HOA, condo, and other fees. Now the other fees could be anything. So when I'm working with clients, uh, we put in information such as daycare costs, utility costs. I mean, you can put anything that you want, especially if you're in a really, really tight budget. I would make sure you put your credit card um, fees in here, daycare costs, travel costs, um, you know, everything that you can think of monthly so that you're not shocked or you're not strapped. So, for example, if we say everything adds up to 180 um, for other fees, all right, and your condo fee is um, 250 a month. Maybe that's going to be different. Maybe you have an HOA fee of 100, let's just say. All right? So you can see how everything kind of updates. So the total monthly payments are here. All right? So if you have a monthly budget of 2500 and you want to understand you know, what you can afford at what interest rate, especially if you have, um, for example, you have something detrimental on your credit report and you know as soon as you get that removed your loan officer said that they can give you a half a point or you know a quarter point etc the improvement on the interest rate whatever that may be your lender will be able to discuss that with you so I'm just using numbers arbitrary here just to make my point so we've created again uh, a data table with all of this and as soon as you update any of this information, so let's say that you have, you found something without a condo fee or um, an HOA fee, you can see here what you, how you can see what you can qualify for is affected. So for example, if you had an HOA fee of 100 and a condo fee of 250 and another monthly payment of $15, now I know that's, that may be kind of low, but um, whatever it is, you can see that you can qualify up to 24% um, you can buy something at 300000 but only if you get 4%. So if you don't qualify for 4% and you're at 45 you're not going to be able to qualify if your budget is 2500 because this is 2575 Now I have conditional formatting added in here just to show uh, everything that's in the red shows that it's the values are below 2500 so that was you know arbitrary right? I just picked a number of 2500 just to make my point so let's say that um, you decided you're not going to have a condo you want to buy a single family home so you click on that now you can afford up to 400,000 at 3% so if you don't qualify for that, if you're still at the, the 4.25, uh, then you can look at your payments here, even with the different interest rates. So if you can, let's say that you can't um, you qualify for 4%, but you want to have a $400,000 home, again, you can negotiate the interest rates, and there are some creative ways that your lenders will be able to work with you on that. Uh, and also the real estate agents, of course, like us, to be able to negotiate different ways so that our clients can stay on budget. Um, so uh, let's see. Let's say that your HOA fee is $200 a month. 
you can see the impact. All right. What if you didn't have any of these? And your property taxes were only, let's say, $3,000 a month. All right. So you can see how much of an impact it makes. So again, I hope this, uh, this helps you. You can download these um, calculators or ask us for it. And I hope this was beneficial. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Have a blessed day. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.